Hello guys, I hope you are doing really really well. Today I have with me Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and in this video I am going to talk about 100 tips and tricks for this phone. So let's start. The first tip is about lock your favorite app. For example, I open this app. Now I want to lock this app. I will select this home button and then I will open the recent app menu and here is my app. Then I will select this app icon and here you see this option of keep open. So I will select this option. Now the app kept open for quick launching. Now if I try to close it, you can see I am unable to close this app. Same way you can lock up to three apps. The second thing is if you want to unlock an app, select this lock button from here. Now the app is unlocked. Now if you want to close it, you can easily close it from here. The next step is about adding two fingers to same fingerprint. Open the settings and scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy. So select this option and then scroll down and here you see this option of biometrics. So select biometrics and then from here you can select this option of fingerprints. Then you have to confirm your pattern and here you see this option of add fingerprint. So I will select this option then I will select register. Now I can register my thumb and my index finger together. So here you can see I will start registering my thumb and my index finger together. So here you can see. So now you see fingerprint has been added. I will select done and now I will go to home and now I will lock my phone. Now for example if I want to unlock it I can use my thumb or my index finger. So for example I want to use my index finger here you can see the phone is unlocked. Now I will lock it again and now this time I will use my thumb. So here you can see I can also use my thumb. The next thing is you can add up to four fingerprints. So again I will open fingerprints from here and then I will confirm my pattern and here you can see I already added three fingerprints. So I can add one more fingerprint from here. The next thing is you can also change the name of these fingerprints. For example if I want to change the name of fingerprint one I will select it like this. Here you can give it any name. For example you can give it a name of index and then select this option of save. Now the next thing is you can also check added fingerprints. Here is the check added fingerprints option and now from here you can check your added fingerprints. For example I select my index finger here you can see it is showing that this fingerprint is fingerprint 3. So same way you can also check for your other fingerprints. The next tip is about advanced phone tracker. First of all on your S24 Ultra go to settings and once you go inside settings just scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy. So select this option and then here you see this option of lost device protection. So select this option and you have to enable all of these options from here. The next thing is you have to open internet browser on your other Samsung device. So I will open the internet browser and then from here you can search for Samsung find. So here you can see smartthingsfind.samsung.com I will open this website. Now what you have to do you have to sign in with your Samsung account on this website. After signing in it will show you the exact location of your S24 Ultra. You can also use other options. For example here you can use the option of ring. So I will select this ring option then I will start and then it will start ringing my S24 Ultra. You can also lock your phone. You can also track location in real time. You can also erase data of your S24 Ultra and you can also extend the battery life of your S24 Ultra. The next tip is about reader mode option for a website. For example I open my Samsung internet browser and here I open this website. But I want the simplified version of this website without unnecessary menus and advertisements. So what I will do I will select this reader mode option. It will open the simplified version of this website with text and images only. So how to enable this feature. First of all select this tools option from here and then you see this option of settings. 
So I will open the settings and then you have to scroll down and you can see this option of useful features. So I will open this useful features and here you can see this option of show reader mode button. So if it is disabled, you can enable it from here and now you can use this reader mode feature. The next step is about camera assistant. So open the galaxy store and then search for camera assistant. So here is the camera assistant from Goodlock labs. Then you have to download it. After downloading this camera assistant, you have to open your camera. So I will open the camera and then you have to go to settings. So once you open the camera settings, you have to scroll down and here you can find a new option of camera assistant. So you can open this camera assistant and here you have a lot of features available for example if you select this zoom shortcuts here you can go for 2x and you can also go for 100x zoom then you can go back and you also have the option of picture softening so if I select this picture softening you also have the option of medium and high so you can select any of this option you can also explore other features in this camera assistant the next step is about Samsung ecosystem. So whatever I copy on this Samsung device, it will also be available on my S24 Ultra. For example, I will take out this edge panel and then I will scroll to the clipboard. So you can see the clipboard is currently empty. Now I will open a website on this Samsung device. And now for example, I like this image from this website. So I want to copy this image. So I will press and hold it like this and then here is the option of copy image so I will copy this image so the same image will be copied on my s24 ultra as well now if I take out this edge panel here you can see on my clipboard the same image is available now I can also use this image for example I open Samsung notes I open a new note and now I want to use this image I will take out this edge panel I will press and hold it like this and I can easily drag and drop this image on my notes. So to enable this feature, you have to turn on the Bluetooth on both of these devices. The next step is about widgets with clock. So if I lock my phone screen, here you see this clock. Just single tap on this clock, it will open these widgets and you can directly access these widgets. For example, if you want to do the voice recording, you can select this voice recorder from here. You can also access your music. And then if you scroll down, select these settings and and then here you have more option of widgets. So here you can see you have weather widgets, you have galaxy birds manager widget, you also have schedule widget. So you can select any of these widgets. You can also reorder these widgets, select this reorder option from here and then select this arrow and then you can reorder your widgets as well. One more thing I want to mention here is below this video, you see this like button. If you press it like this, it will change its color. You can try this experiment. The next step is about lock screen widget. So if I lock my phone screen and then I will press and hold on my lock screen and then I will unlock it. So here you see a new option of widgets available. So here in the middle, you see this widgets option, select this widgets and here it will show you different widgets option. So you can select any widget from here. For example, I select this battery widget. It will be added to my lock screen. Then I can go for this clock widget. And then for example, I select this reminder widget. So you can add up to four widgets. So once you finish, select this done option and then these widgets will be added to your lock screen. The next step is about text shortcuts. For example, I will open the messages and then here I will write H R U. So it will show me the expanded phrase how are you of this text shortcut and then I can send it. Now how to enable these text shortcuts? First of all, go to settings and then you have to scroll down and you see this option of text shortcuts. So you have to select this option and then from here you select this plus icon and now here you can write your shortcuts for example I will write here GM and then here I have to write the expanded phrase as well so I will write here good morning okay 
so i will write here good morning and then i will add it now i will go back and then again i will open the messages and now for example i will write here gm so i will write here gm so here you can see it is showing me the expanded phrase and then i can use it the next tip is about cursor navigation so i will open the message app and now for example here i will write hello now i want to move this cursor i will just press and hold this space bar so i will just press and hold it like this and now i can easily move the cursor so here you can see i can move it to left or towards the right i can also move it up and down as well the next tip is about live translation so i will open the message app and now for example here i want to write something and i also want the live translation about it so here you can see we have this translate icon so you have to select this translate icon and here you can enter your text for example here i will write how are you okay and now it will convert it into italian so here you can see here is the italian translation and then you can send it you can also change the language so here you can see i selected italian just select this icon from here and then here you see this italian and you can select this arrow once you select this arrow it will show you different languages you can select any language from here the next thing is when the other person reply you it will also show you translation in your language the next tip is about multiple face recognition first of all open the settings then scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy so select this option and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of biometrics so select this biometrics and then here you see the very first option is about face recognition so select this option then confirm your pattern now here you can see we have this option of add alternative appearance to enhance recognition so you can select this option and then you can add alternate appearance for example you can do the face recognition with your glasses on the next thing is you can also add more security just go back from here and then you see this option of require open eyes you can enable this option it will recognize your face only when your eyes are open the next tip is about s pen to unlock for example i will lock my phone now i want to unlock it i can use my s pen so i just have to press this s pen button two times so here you will see i will press my s pen button two times it will unlock my phone and it will also bypass the security so how to enable this option first of all go to settings once you enter into the settings just scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so you have to select this option then from here you see this option of s pen so just select this s pen and then once you enter inside the s pen you have to scroll down and here you see this option of more s pen settings so you have to select this option here you see the very first option is about s pen unlock so if you want to enable this option you have to enable it from here the next thing is there are more instruction given over here so you have to follow these instructions the next tip is about faster performance first of all open the settings then scroll down and here you see the last option is about phone so you have to select this option once you open about phone the next thing what you have to do you have to select software information and then inside software information you see this option of build number you have to tap this build number for seven time so i will start tapping this build number and then it will ask you to confirm your pattern so i will confirm my pattern now it will enable the developer mode now what you have to do you just have to go back once you go back to main in settings you have to scroll down and here you see a new feature of developer options after about phone so you have to open this developer options and then you have to scroll down and you will see a category of drawing so i will uh, just show you so i will just scroll down and here you see this drawing category here you see three different options the first option is window animation scale so you have to open it and then you have to set it to animation scale 0.5x and then you have to go for transition animation scale 
and same thing you have to do you have to select animation scale 0.5x and then the last one is animator duration scale you have to select this option and then you have to select this animation scale 0.5x now you can check different animation on your phone and you will see a faster performance in your s24 ultra the next tip is about voice reduction during calls. So I will open the phone app and then from here I will call someone. Now what I will do, I will just bring down this quick panel and here you see a new option of mic mode. So you can select this option and here you can see currently it is set to standard. You can set it to voice focus. So now if you have noise at the background, it will cancel it so the other person can hear you more clearly. The next tip is about generative edit. So for example, I open this image. Now I want to edit this image. So I will just tap on it like this and then I will select this pen icon. And here you see a new option of generative edit. So you can select this option. Now for example, I want to move this football from here to this position. So I will use my S Pen, I will press and hold it like this and then I can easily move it here. So for example, I will move it here. Then I will select this generate option. Then it will start analyzing the image by using AI and then it will fill this area. So you just have to wait for a few seconds and then it will show you the final result. So here you can see this is the final result. Now if you want to see the original image, select this option of view original so I will select this original image so here is the original image and here is after the generative edit so you can select this done option the next thing is if you want to completely remove this ball you can also do it select this generative edit again and then press and hold on this football now here you see this option of eraser so I will select this eraser option it will remove this ball and now I will select this generative again now it will also analyze the image again and then it will show you the final result after the generative edit so you just have to wait for a few seconds so here you can see it completely removed that ball and it also fill the area by analyzing the image using ai if you want to see the original select this view original so here is the original image and here is after the editing then you can select this done option and then you can save this image the next step is about AI keyboard. So I will open the messages app and now for example here I will write some message. Now here you can see we have this new option of writing assist. So you can select writing assist and now you can change the writing style of this message. So here is the writing style option. I will select it and then it will give me different suggestion. So here I will make it full screen. So here on top you can see we have this original message and then if you scroll we have this professional and then we have this casual style, then we have social, polite and emojify so you can select any of these messages for example i like this professional style i will select this insert option and it will be inserted in my messages the next thing is you can also do the translation of these messages again select this writing assist and here is the option of chat translation so i will select this chat translation here you can see it is showing auto to Korean then I will select this send option and then it will show you the Korean translation of my message so here is the Korean translation the next thing is you can also check the spellings and grammar of your messages again select this writing assist here is the option of spelling and grammar so you can select spelling and grammar and then it will give you suggestion so here you can see it is giving me suggestion of this airport with question mark the next tip is about circle to search. For example, I open this image. Now I want more data relevant to this image. So I will press and hold this home button like this and then I will use my S Pen and now I will circle around this image. Now it will show me more data relevant to this image. So here you can see I will make it full screen. Here you can see it is showing me the name of this plant. It is giving me more information and now I can use this information. You can also do circle to search for text as well. For example, I open my notes. Now I want more data relevant to this text. Again, I will press and hold my home button and then I will use my S Pen. So I will circle around this text. 
so i will circle around till here now it will give me more information relevant to this text so here you can see now i can use this information the next tip is about auto format handwritten notes so i will open my notes and now i want to auto format these notes so here we have this new option of notes assist i will select this option and then you can use your s pen to highlight your handwritten notes now here you see this option of auto format so i will select this option and then from here i will select this option of meeting notes now it will start converting these handwritten notes into text and then it will organize into headings and bullet points so here you can see here is the final result and here it is also showing you different formats so if i scroll like this here you can see we have different formats available you can select any of these formats you can copy it and then you can add it to new page before or you can also add it to new note the next thing is you can also summarize your notes so here are my text notes i want to summarize it again i will select this notes assist option and then here you see this option of summarize so i will select a summarize option it will summarize my note so here you see the final result the notes are summarized into bullet points you can also go for detailed option so select these three lines from here and here is the detailed style option so select this detail and then press done now it will summarize in detailed format so now you can copy it you can replace it or you can add it to new page and new note the next thing is you can also correct the spellings of your notes so select this writing assist then here is the option of correct spelling so now the ai will suggest you the correct spelling for your notes so here is the final result so you can copy it you can replace it and you can add it to new note or same page guys you can also do the translation of your notes again select this writing assist here is the translate option so you can select this translate option so here you can select any language for example i select english to french so here is the final result from english to french if you want to change the language select this arrow and here we have different languages available you can select any of these languages once you finish you can copy it you can replace it and you can also add it to new page before or or new note the next tip is about ai call translate so you can get real time translation during calls open the phone app then select these three dots and here you see this option of settings so select settings and then here you see this option of live translate so you can select live translate and then you have to turn it on from here the next thing is you have to select the languages so first of all here you see this category of me so you can select your language from here so i will select the language option so you have 13 different languages option available so you can select any language the next thing is here is the other person language so here you can see i select chinese but you can change any language so here you can see we have different languages option available here so you can select any language from here the next thing is you can also enable this option of mute my voice so the other person will only hear a translation of what you say and the next thing is mute other person's voice so you can also enable this option so you will only hear a translation of what the other person says the next tip is about ai voice transcript so open the voice recorder and then select this mic to start your recording so i will start my recording now you can record your voice or your lectures and ai will transcribe it for you you will also get the summary of your transcription and you can also add it to your samsung notes now i will stop it so now you can save it so i will save it and then you open your voice recording and here is the option of transcribe so i will select this transcribe and then you can select the language so i will select the english and then i will select transcribe so here it will analyze my recording and then it will give me the final transcript so here is the transcript now you can also add this transcript to your samsung notes select these three dots and here is the option of add to samsung notes you can also select this hide speaker labels as well 
so here is the height speaker level the next thing is you can also create a summary of your transcription so here i open my old voice recording and then here is the summary option so i will select this summary so here you can see it will create a summary from my transcription so here you can see we have keywords we have uh, this uh, heading and then we also have these bullet points you can also add your summary to samsung notes select these three dots and here is the option of add to samsung notes so you can add it from here the next thing is you can also do the translation of your transcript and your summary for example i select this transcript option here is the translation icon so i will select it so here you can see it will translate my transcript from english to japanese you can also change the language so here is the arrow you can select any language from here the next thing is you can also translate your summary so select this summary from here and then again select this translation icon so here is the translation of my summary from english to japanese so you can also add this translation to your samsung notes as well again select these three dots and here is the option of add to samsung notes the next tip is about video slow-mo feature for example i open this video and now i want to play this video in slow motion so i will press and hold it like this and now the video will play in slow motion now if i leave it like this the video will start playing in the normal mode you can also edit this video and convert it into the slow motion just select it like this and then select this pen icon and then you have all the necessary tools for video editing the next tip is about app protection so you can protect your phone from digital theft first of all you have to open the settings then scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy so select it and then you have to select this option of app security so i will open app security and here you see this option of app protection so i will open the app protection and you can turn it on from here and then you can start scanning your phone so here is the scan phone option so it will scan your phone for viruses and it will also secure your digital information the next step is about clock style for lock screen so i will lock my phone and then i will press and hold on my lock screen then i will unlock it now if you want to change the clock style just select this clock from here and then it will show you different styles so now you can also add calendar so here is the calendar option so here you can see i have this calendar with clock as well you can also add a reminder you can also go for no clock option and from here you can select any clock the next thing is you can also change the color of your clock and you can also change the position and you can also change the size of your clock as well once you finish just select this done option and here is your new lock screen with a different clock the next tip is about this side key so if i press and hold this side key it will open the bixby but i don't want this bixby i want to use this side key as a power button so first of all i will go to settings so i will open the settings and then i have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so select this advanced features option and then here you see this option of side button so select this side button option so here you can see we have this option of press and hold currently it is set to wake bixby so from here you can select power of menu now i will go back and now if i press and hold this side key it will open the power of menu and then i can use these options the next tip is about double press shortcut so if i double press this side key it will turn on the camera but you can change the option for this shortcut so what you have to do first of all go to settings once you enter into the settings just scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so go to advanced features and then here you see this option of side button once you enter in the side button here you see this option of double press so currently it is set 
set to quick launch camera but you can select any other app so here is the open app option and then here is the settings once you enter into the settings here you can select any app so i already select this torch option now if i double press uh, this side key it will turn on the torch for my phone the next tip is about photo ambient wallpaper. So open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So go for advanced features and then select this labs from here. And then you have to scroll down and you can see this option of photo ambient wallpaper. So select this photo ambient wallpaper and then you can turn it on from here. Now go back to your home screen and then pinch your home screen like this. Select wallpaper and style and then from here you can select this option of change wallpapers and then you scroll down and you see this option of photo ambient so select this photo ambient and then you can select any style so i select this style and then it will change the wallpaper based on day and weather so if i play it from here so if it's rain outside it will show you the rain on your wallpaper and if it's snow outside it will show you the snow so this is really really amazing the next tip is about multi window so open the settings and then go for advanced features so here is the advanced feature option and here you can see this option of multi window so you can open this option now here you can see the first option is about swipe for a split screen so you can enable this option and then go back and you can also enable the second option which says swipe for pop-up view so you can enable this option as well now what you can do if you want to open any app for example i open this note taking app i will just use my two fingers and then i will swipe it up like this and it will open this app in split screen and then i can open any other app on this part of my screen the next thing is you can also swipe from the corner and you can open this app in pop up view and now if you want you can move it anywhere on your screen and now if you want the full screen just select this blue menu and then you can make it full screen from here the next tip is about lift to wake so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so select this option and then from here you can select this option of motions and gestures and here you see the very first option is about lift to wake so you can enable this option now you can go back and now for example if i lock my phone screen and now if i pick up my phone it will turn on my phone screen the next tip is about one handed mode so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so select this option and here you see this option of one handed mode so you can select this one handed mode and then from here you can turn it on and then from here you can select gesture or button I will select this button option now I will go to my home screen and if I double tap on this home button it will open this one handed mode and now I can use this phone with one hand so here you can see now if you want you can also change the position of your screen and if you want you can also change the size from here so from corner you can change the size of your one handed mode screen now if you want to go out of this one handed mode just double tap it from here and then it will go out from one handed mode the next tip is about video brightness so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so select this option and then scroll down and here you see this option of video brightness so once you select this video brightness here you can see currently it is set to normal you can select this bright option and it will temporarily increase the screen brightness and make colors more vibrant when you watch videos and these are the supported apps the next tip is about screen resolution so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of display so open display and then scroll down and here you see this option of screen resolution so you can select it and then here you can see currently it is set to fhd plus so you can set it to qhd plus and then it will give you more sharp visual and if you select this qhd plus it will consume more battery 
The next step is about adaptive color tone. So open the settings and then select this option of display. Once you go inside display, just scroll down and here you see this option of adaptive color tone. So you can enable this option and this will make your screen color more natural in different environments. The next step is about edge panel. So I will take out this edge panel and here you can see this settings icon. Once you select this settings icon, it will open this panel setting. So here you can add more panels. So for example, here you can add this people, smart select, tasks, weather, tools, reminder. So once you finish, you can go back and now you can also customize your edge panel. For example, if you want to change the handle settings, so from here you can change the handle color. So here is the handle so you can change its color. So you can change the transparency as well and you can also change the size of this handle. So here you can see if I increase it from here, the handle size will also increase. You can also change the width of this edge panel handle once you finish you can go back and now if you take out this edge panel you have more panels option available here so this will be really helpful in your productivity the next step is about stack widgets so here you can see i add multiple widgets now for example you want to add this widget just press and hold it like this and you can bring it on top of this widget now you can add this widget over here so here you can see i add three different widgets if you want to add more widgets you can select this plus icon and then you can add more widgets the next thing is you can also enable this option of auto rotate widgets so you can enable it from here so I will go back and now you can see you have three different widgets stacked together. The next thing is if you want to remove any widget, just press and hold it like this. Select this option of edit stack. And now from here you can remove any widget. So you can select this red color icon and then this widget will be deleted. The other thing is you can press and hold it like this and then you can move it out of this stack and you can put it on your home screen as well. The next tip is about expert raw. So open the camera and then go for more. And then here you see this option of expert raw. So you can download it from here. And here is the option for install. So I will select this install option. And then you will have more features in your camera. So expert raw has been installed. So I will open the expert raw. And here you can see you have a lot of options available. So here you can see you have this astro photo option. So here is the option for sky guide you can hide it or you can show it you can also change the duration so you can explore a lot of features for expert raw the next step is about grid lines in your camera so open the camera and go to settings and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of grid lines so you can enable this option so now i will go back you can see these lines so this will be helpful to align your shots the next step is about writing on your videos. For example, I open this video and now I want to write on this video. So I will tap on the video and then I will select this pen icon to edit. And here is the option for decorations. So I will select this option and then from here you can select any pen. Now you can select this live option and now if you want to write, you can easily write on your video. Now once you finish with your writing, you can select this done option from here now if you want to check you can play it from here so this is how it looks like the next thing is once you finish with your writing you can select this save option and then your video will be saved and later you can edit it and you can also share it the next tip is about slow motion video. So if you want to change this video into slow motion video, just tap on the video, select this pen icon and here is the option of adjust speed. So you can select this option and here you have multiple options. For example, I will select one by four. The next thing is you have to adjust the part. So from where you want your video to be in slow motion. So I want it from the beginning and then I want it till here. Now if you want to check it, so I will take this bar in the beginning and now you can play it. So this is how it looks like after the slow motion. Once you finish with your editing, you can save it from here and then later you can share it. 
The next tip is about quick toggles. So I will bring down this quick panel and here you can see we have different toggles available. You can also edit these toggles, select this pen icon and then from here you can see this option of full and here is the edit option. So select this edit option. Here you can see we have different buttons available. So you can use all of these buttons. So how to add these buttons to this quick panel? First of all, just press and hold it like this and then you can drag and drop here so for example I want to uh, drop this camera access over here I can easily drop it here the next thing is for example I want to uh, drop this microphone access I can also drag and drop this microphone access over here now once you finish you can select this done option the next thing is if I bring down this quick panel and here you can see I bring this new toggle here which is camera access now if you want to block all of your phone cameras you can enable this camera access and here it will ask you if you want to block access to the camera select this block option now even if I turn on my camera app the camera is blocked so there will be no camera available so if you want to turn on the camera access you can turn it on from here same way you can also do for the microphone as well just bring down this quick panel and here you can see I already bring this microphone access button over here if I press it like this here it will ask me if I want to block access to the microphone so if you select this block option from here it will block all the mics from your phone the next tip is about always on display. So open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of lock screen and AOD. So select this option and then here you see this option of always on display. So select always on display and then here you have to scroll down and you can see this option of when to show. So currently it is set to always. So you can set it to auto. So it will show always on display all the time unless your phone detects that it's in a dark place such as your purse or pocket or in a dark room. So this will be really helpful to save your battery life. The next thing is you can go back from here and here on top you see this option of show lock screen wallpaper. So you can disable this option from here and then it will only show you the time and widgets without wallpaper so you can save your battery life. The next tip is about wireless power sharing. So you can use S24 Ultra for charging other devices. So open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of battery. So select this battery and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of wireless power sharing. So you just have to open this wireless power sharing and then you have to turn it on from here. Now you can put any other device at the backside of S24 Ultra and you can charge other devices. The next tip is about call and text on other devices. So open the settings and here you see this option of connected devices. So select this option and here you see this option of call and text on other devices. So you can enable this option and then you can make and receive calls from any other Galaxy tablet, computer or watch. The next step is about link to windows. So open the settings and then here you see this option of connected devices. So select this option and here you see this option of link to windows. You can enable this option and then you have to sign in to your Microsoft account and then you can access your S24 Ultra from your PC. The next step is about medical info. So open the phone app open your own profile and then scroll down and here you see this option of medical info. So select this option and then here is the editing option. So select this pen icon and then here you can enter all your medical conditions. Once you finish just save it like this. Now for example you have some kind of emergency. So a first responder just has to pick up your phone and then he just has to swipe and here is the option of emergency call. So select this emergency call and here is the medical info. So select this medical information. Now the person would be able to see all the medical info if you are not conscious to tell them.
The next tip is about air command. So if you bring your S Pen closer to the screen, here you can see this air command icon. You can select this air command, it will open different shortcuts. You can add more shortcuts, select this plus icon and here you can see you can add different shortcuts from here. For example, you can add this translate shortcut, Bixby VN, Pen Up. So you can also add different apps. For example, I want to add this calculator app. I can just select it from here and then it will be added to my air command. Now for example, I will open my air command. Here you can see I have these shortcuts available in my air command and now I can use them. The next tip is about screen of memo. For example, my S Pen is inside my phone and my phone is locked. Now I want to write something important. So I will just take out my S Pen. It will open the screen of memo and now I can write anything important. So here you can see I can use my S Pen and I can write anything. Once you finish, you can save it and then it will be saved to your Samsung notes. The next thing is you can also pin it to your lock screen. So here is the pin icon. So I will pin it from here and then I will save it. So this will be pinned to my lock screen. The next tip is about modes. So I will bring down this quick panel and then from here I select modes and then I will select study. Now everything will become grayscale restriction apply on some apps and do not disturb feature will turn on. So now I can fully focus on my studies. Now if I want to turn it off, I will bring down this quick panel and then from here I can turn it off. Now it will go back to the normal phone mode. So how to add and customize these modes? First of all open settings, then select this option of modes and routines. Once you go inside modes and routines, here you can see we have different modes available. You can also add your own mode. So here is the add mode option. So here you can give it any name and then here you can do all the customization. The next tip is about erasing shadows and reflections in your images. So for example, I open this image and here you can see we have this shadow and reflection on this image. So first of all, you have to tap on this image and here is this option of details. So select this details option and here you see this option of erase shadows. So select erase shadows option and then it will analyze your image and then it will erase the shadow. So here you can see the shadow is erased but still there is reflection. So if you want to erase this reflection what you can do is just select this undo option and here you see this option of erase reflections. So select erase reflection and then it will erase this reflection. So here you can see the image is now completely done. You can select this save option and if you want to save it as a copy you can select this save as a copy option. So here is your final image. The next tip is about background play. For example, you open your Samsung internet browser and here you open YouTube and you play some video. Now even if you go out of your internet browser, your video will still play at background and you can listen to the sound of that video. So how to enable this option? So open the internet browser, select tools and then go to settings. Once you go to the settings, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of useful features. So select this useful features option and here you can see this option of background play. So currently it is off. So you have to select it and you have to turn it on from here. The next tip is about generative wallpapers. So pinch your home screen and then here you see this option of wallpaper and style. So you can select this option and then from here select change wallpapers and then scroll down and here you see this option of generative. So you can select this option. So here you can create your wallpapers. For example, I select this bloom and then here you can see you have these highlighted texts. So you can select these highlighted text and then you can change them. For example, instead of this forget me nots, I will select this sunflowers. Okay. And then for this plum, I can select any other option. For example, I select this pink. And then for this beach, you can select any other option. For example, I select 
desert okay and then i select this option of generate so now it will use ai and it will create a new wallpaper using this statement so you just have to wait for a few seconds and then i will show you the final result so here you can see a new wallpaper has been created so here it will give you four different options so you can use this option you can use this option and then we have this option and then we have another wallpaper so whatever wallpaper you like you can select and then here is the option of set and then here is the next option and then you can select done so a new wallpaper will be added to your home screen the next step is about summarizing a website for example i open this website and now i want to summarize this website so i will select this option of browsing assist and here is the option of summarize so i will select this option and then it will summarize this website using ai and here is the final result so here you can see the website has been summarized the next thing is you can also go for detailed option so select these three lines from here and and here is the detailed option so select this detail and then press done so it will summarize in detailed format so you just have to wait for a few seconds and then i will show you the final result the next thing is once it's finished with the summarizing you can also copy it here is the detailed summary of that website now i can copy it it will be copied to my clipboard now if i want to use it so for example i open my notes and then i will take out this edge panel and then i will scroll to the clipboard so here is the summary of that website so here is the preview now if you want you can bring it to your notes so you just have to press and hold it like this and then you can drag and drop it to your notes and later if you want you can edit it and you can share it the next step is about camera widget so just pinch your screen and here is the option of widgets so select widgets and then scroll down and here you see this option of camera so select this arrow and here is the camera widget select this add now it will open the widget settings so first of all you can give it any title the second thing is you can select this option of starting mode so once you select this starting mode you can select rear or front and then you have other options also available for example you can select this food night pro video pro and then from here you can select rear or front okay now once you finish you can just go back and then here you can select this widget background so you can select any image from your gallery and then once you finish you can select this save option so here is the camera widget now i just have to select this widget and it will open the camera with the same settings that i just set now you can add multiple camera widgets on your home screen with different settings the next step is about quick panel instant access for example if i want to open this quick panel i have to drag it down two times but if you want to drag it down in one time select this pen icon here is the option of quick settings instant access so select this option and then you can turn it on from here now if i want to bring down this quick panel i just have to bring it down one time and my quick panel will open the next step is about smart select so you can take a screenshot of specific part of the screen using smart select for example i open this website and i want to take a screenshot of this part so i will open the air command then i will open the smart select tool now i will use my s pen and now i will start selecting this part so i will select it till here now you can see this part is now selected now if you want you can edit it so here is the editing option option so if you want to crop it you can crop it from here if you want to write on it you can also do the writing and then if you want you can also pin it so here is the pin option so i will select this pin and now this image will be pinned to my screen now i can open any other app and the image is still available on my screen the next step is about adding video object to notes for example i play this video now i want a specific object from this video in my notes first of all i will tap on the video then i will take out this edge panel and then i will open the samsung notes in split screen now whatever object you want first of all you have to pause it so here for example i want to bring this chair in my notes 
okay so first of all i will press and hold it like this so you can see the chair is now selected now i can easily drag and drop this object to my notes and then later if you want you can edit it the next tip is about show animation when unlocking for example i will lock my phone now i want to unlock it so if i use this fingerprint sensor you can see this kind of animation so how to enable this animation first of all open the settings scroll down and here you see this option of security and privacy so select this option and then you have to scroll down select biometrics and then here is the option of fingerprints so select this option and then you have to confirm your pattern and then here you see this option of show animation when unlocking if it is disabled you can enable it from here the next tip is about s pen air actions for example if i press and hold this s pen button it will turn on the camera on my phone now if i want to take the picture again i will press this s pen button and it will take the picture for me the next thing is you can also switch to video mode press this s pen button and then just do this air gesture so here you can see the video mode is now turned on now if you want to record the video press this s pen button it will start recording and then if you want to stop the recording again press this s pen button so the recording will stop the next thing is you can also go for more option just swipe like this so here are more options available and then you can go back to video mode go back to photo mode as well the next thing is you can also also use this s pen for screenshot for example if i want to take the screenshot i will press this s pen button and i will do this air gesture it will take the screenshot for me and later i can edit it and i can send it the next thing is how to customize these air actions so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features so select this option and then here is the s pen so select s pen and then here you see the very first option is about air actions so you have to select air actions you have to turn it on from here now if you scroll down you have all the customization of s pen air actions so here you can see press and hold pen button so currently it is set to camera if you select this option here you can select any app for this press and hold pen button feature the next tip is about battery protection so open the settings and then scroll down and select this option of device care so once you go inside device care the very first option is about battery so select this battery and here you see this option of battery protection so you can select this option and then you can turn it on from here now here you have three different options the first option is about basic so your phone will charge up to 95% then we have this maximum so your battery will stop charging when it reaches 80% and then we have this adaptive option so in adaptive mode it will use maximum while you are asleep and switch to basic before you wake up sleep time is estimated based on your phone usage patterns the next tip is about battery status so swipe up like this it will open this search bar and then you can search for members app so i will type here members okay so here is the members app so you can open this app and then you have to sign in with your samsung account after signing in this page will open and here you see this option of support so you can select this support option and then here is the option of phone diagnostics so select this phone diagnostics and then from here you can scroll down and here you see this option of battery status so you can select battery status and then it will run check on your battery so here you can see it is giving me the result of normal life good capacity 5000 milliampere so everything is perfect with my battery but if you see something different here so that means something is wrong with your phone the next tip is about swipe gestures so if you want swipe gestures instead of these buttons open the settings and then go for a display so here is the display option and then scroll down and here you see this option of navigation bar 
so select this option and here you can see we have this buttons option and we also have swipe gestures so you can select swipe gestures from here the next thing is you can also enable this circle to search feature from here the next tip is about Google Assistant. So if you want to open the Google Assistant, you can swipe from the corner like this. It will open the Google Assistant. You can also swipe from this corner as well. The next tip is about Dolby Atmos. Open the settings and then here you see this option of sounds and vibration. So select this option and then scroll down and here you see this option of sound quality and effects. So select this option and here you can see we have the very first option about Dolby Atmos. So you can enable this option. If you select Dolby Atmos, here you have different options. You can go for auto, movie, music or voice. The other thing is you can also enable Dolby Atmos for gaming as well. So you can enable it from here. The next step is about equalizer. So here you can see we have this equalizer option. You can select it and you can also customize your own equalizer as well. So here is the custom option. So you can see you can easily customize your own EQ. The next thing is you can also go for other options that are already set. So here you can see these are preset equalizers. The next step is about double tap to turn on or off the screen. For example, if I double tap it like this, it will lock my phone. And then if I double tap it like this, it will turn on the screen. Then I can use my fingerprint to unlock the phone. So how to enable this option? So first of all, go to settings and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. Once you go inside advanced features option, here you can see this option of motions and gestures. So you have to select this option of motions and gestures and here you can see this option of double tap to turn on the screen. If it is disabled, you can enable it from here. The second thing is double tap to turn off the screen. You can also enable it from here. The next tip is about mute with gesture. For example, I have a call on this number. Now I want to mute this incoming call. So I will just put my phone face down like this. So you can see the call is now muted. Now, for example, if I put it back here, you can see the call is still mute. So if you want to enable this option, first of all, you have to go to settings. Once you enter into the settings, then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So select advanced features and then here you see this option of motions and gestures. So select this option and here you can see this option of mute with gestures. So if it is disabled, you can enable it from here. You can also use it for alarms as well. The next step is about motion smoothness. So if you want to change the motion smoothness, open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of display. So select display and then here you see this option of motion smoothness. You can select this option. So here you can see currently it is set to standard. So the screen refresh rate up to 60 Hertz, but you can go for adaptive and here you will get screen refresh rate up to 120 Hertz. So you can apply from here. The next tip is about extra brightness. So if you are out in sunlight, you can go for extra brightness. Open the settings and then select display from here. And then here you see this option of extra brightness. So you can enable it from here and then it will increase the maximum brightness, but it will consume more battery. The next tip is about extra dim. For example, during nighttime, you want to reduce the brightness. So you can reduce it from here, but you can also go for extra dim option. So just swipe on this quick panel. Here is the extra dim toggle. So if I select it like this, here you can see the difference. The next thing is you can also change the intensity of extra dim. So just press and hold on this quick toggle and here you can see the intensity option so you can increase or you can decrease the intensity from here the next tip is about eye comfort shield so if you want to read for a longer period of time you can enable eye comfort shield option first of all just bring down this quick panel here is the eye comfort shield so you can enable it from here now you can read for a longer period of time the next thing is you can also change the color temperature 
of eye comfort shield so again bring down this quick panel here is the eye comfort shield just press and hold it like this and then scroll down and here you can see this option of color temperature so you can increase or decrease the color temperature from here the next tip is about screen recorder for example you want to prepare some kind of lecture and you want to make a screen recording about it so bring down this quick panel here is the screen recorder so you can select it from here and then select start recording so after this countdown your screen recording will start and then if you want you can prepare your lecture and you can record a video about it the next thing is you can also turn on the front camera so here is the front camera option option in screen recorder so you can enable it from here so here is your front camera now the next thing is if you want to highlight anything important in your screen you can also use this pen tool and then you can highlight anything in your screen recording once you finish you can select this stop option and your screen recording will save in your gallery later you can edit it and you can share it the next tip is about interpreter so bring down this quick panel and then from here you can see this interpreter app so you can turn it on from here now you can talk to another person with different language for example here i will turn on this mic and then i will say how are you okay so here you can see it convert my english language into korean language now you can change the languages as well so select this arrow from here so you can select any language from here so we have japanese polish portuguese spanish so you can select any language from here the next thing is you can also change the voice style select these three dots select settings and here you see this option of voice styles so i will select this voice styles so here you can change the voice style for example if i select this germany here i have two different voice style available you can also change the speech rate so you can make it slow or you can make it fast from here as well the next thing is if i go back and then here is the option of tap to talk so i prefer to enable this option so if i go back from here whenever i have to talk to someone i have to turn on the mic and then i have to talk the next tip is about block contact or block any phone number so open the phone app select these three dots and then go for settings once you go inside settings here you see this option of block numbers so you can select this option now if you want to block any phone number you have to add that phone number over here the next thing is if you want to block any person from your contact list so select this contacts from here and then you can select that contact the next tip is about read caller name aloud for example someone call me on my number it will read the caller name aloud so here you can see now how to enable this option open the phone app and then go to contacts and then here is the option of three dots then you can go for settings and then here you see this option of answering and ending calls so you can select this option and here you can see the very first option is about read caller names aloud so if it is disabled you can enable it from here you can also go for one more option so select this read caller names aloud here you have two different option you can go for always or you can go for over bluetooth and headphones only the next tip is about maintenance mode so open the settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of device care so select this option and then scroll down and here you see this maintenance mode so you can select a maintenance mode now if you want to give your phone for repair you can turn on this maintenance mode and it will protect your privacy the next tip is about using s24 ultra as a toolbar for your tablet so first of all turn on the bluetooth on your phone so i will bring down this quick panel and then i will turn on the bluetooth on my phone the next thing is i have to turn on the bluetooth on my tablet as well so i will bring down this quick panel and then i will turn on the bluetooth on my tablet as well now what you have to do you have to open samsung notes on your tablet so i will open samsung notes and here you see a new option of use phone as toolbar 
so i will select this option now it will open the toolbar on your phone now you can select any tool from your phone for example i want to select this pen tool and now i can use it on my tablet for example i want to change the pen so here is different pen and now i can use this pen on my tablet i can also use other tools for example if i want to use this shape tool i can create neat shapes you can also go for highlighter tool so first of all i will select this highlighter you can change the color of the highlighter and you can also change the opacity you can change the thickness and now you can use this highlighter tool on your tablet so you can use different tools from your phone the next tip is about office app so office app is pre-installed on this phone so you just have to swipe it up like this here is the microsoft folder so I will open this Microsoft folder and here you can see Microsoft 365 Office. So I will open it from here. Then you have to log in with your Microsoft account. Now here you can see this option of create. So I will select this create option. So here you can see you can create Word file, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF or forms. For example, I select Excel and then I will select blank workbook. So here you can see the Excel is open here. Now if you want to access different tools, so select this icon from here and then you see this arrow. You can select this arrow and then here you see this option of home tab. So here we have different tools available. For example, borders, fill color, and then here is the alignment, merge center. If you want to go for formulas, select this arrow from here and here you can see this formula tab select these formulas and here you can see we have this auto sum formula select this arrow and here we have auto sum you can go back from here for example you want to open financial formulas select this financial then select this arrow here you can see we have different financial formulas available you can go back from here select this arrow we have other tabs also available you can use this draw tab data review and view the next tip is about pdf annotations so you can use samsung notes for pdf annotation so i will open the samsung notes here is the pdf plus icon so i will select this pdf plus icon and then i can select my pdf file for example i want to edit this pdf file then i will select done so here is the pdf file now you can use different tools for example if you want to highlight something you can use this highlighter to highlight anything in your PDF then if you want to write something you can use this pen tool to write on your PDF if you want to type something you can select this keyboard and then you can type on your PDF and then if you want to use uh, this shape tool you can also use this shape tool to create any shape in your PDF once you finish with your PDF annotation you can save it as well select these three dot and then here you see this option of save as file then you can save it in six different formats so you can save it as PDF file notes file word PowerPoint image or text file the next tip is about warn if S Pen is left behind. Open the settings and then scroll down and select this option of advanced features. And then here is the option of S Pen. So select S Pen and then you have to scroll down and here you see this option of more S Pen settings. So select this option and here you see this option of warn if S Pen is left behind. If it is disabled, you can enable it from here. So it will show you a warning if you leave your S Pen behind and walk away with your phone while the screen is off. It will also show you the last remove date and time. The next tip is about air command menu style. For example, I open this air command. Here you can see we have this standard menu style. You can also go for compact style. Select this settings icon and then from here open air commands. Here you can see the menu style. Currently it is set to standard and here is the compact. So I will select this compact menu style. So now if I open the air command here you can see we have this compact menu style with only short shortcut icons the next tip is about open air command with s pen button so if i bring my s pen closer to screen and then if i press this s pen button it will open the air command i can do this anywhere on my screen for example if i bring my s pen closer 
here on this part and then if I press the S Pen button it will open the air command. So how to enable this option? First of all go to settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So select this option then from here select S Pen and then you have to select this air command option and here you see this option of open air command with pen button. So if it is disabled you can enable it from here. The next tip is about website translation. For example, I open this website. Now I want the translation for this website in Japanese. So what I will do, I will just select this browsing assist feature and then here is the option of translate. So I will select this translate option from here and then it will convert this website into Japanese. So here you can see everything is converted in Japanese. You can also change the language. So here is the language option. Select this arrow and from here you can select any language. So here we have different language option available. For example, if you want to convert it into German, so I will select this German from here. Now it will convert this website into German language. The next tip is about themes. So open settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of themes. So select this option and then from here select this top option. Now if you want to go for free galaxy themes, select this arrow and here is the free option. So I will select this free option. It will open all free galaxy themes. Now whatever theme you like, you can select. For example, I like this theme. Now here is the download option. So I will select this download and then it will take just a few seconds and then here is the option of apply. So I will select this apply option. Then it will start applying this theme to your Galaxy S24 Ultra. So here is the final result. You can see this new theme with different icon style. Now if you want to delete any theme, just pinch your screen and then here is the option of themes. So select themes from here, then go to menu and then from here you can select this option of my stuff. Once you go inside my stuff, here is the delete option. You can select any theme and then you can delete it from here. If you want to apply the default theme, select this default and then you can apply it from here. The next tip is about magnifier widget. So pinch your home screen, then select widgets and then you can scroll down and you will see this magnifier widget. So select this arrow, then select this magnifier icon and then select add. So it will be added to your screen. Now you can use your phone as a magnifier. For example, I want to magnify this text. So I will just use this magnifier widget. The next thing is you can also increase the magnification. Here is the bar. So you can increase it from here. So here you can see I can increase it from here. The next thing is you can also turn on the torch. So here is the torch option. So here you can see the torch is now turned on. Okay. The next thing is you can also apply the filter. So here is the filter option. So I will select filter from here and then we have different options. So here you can see you can use this inverted filter. Okay. Then we have this white and black and uh, then we have this black and white and then we have this yellow black. So whatever filter you like, you can apply it from here. So we have a lot of options available. For example, I like this filter. Okay. Then I can take the picture from here. Okay. And then I can use it. I can share it and I can also edit it. The next tip is about smart suggestion widget. So pinch your screen and then select widgets. And here you can see the very first option is about smart suggestion. So select this arrow. So here it will show you the apps based on how you use your phone. So you can select it and then select add. So here is the smart suggestion widget. You can also change its size. So here you can see you can change its size. You can also go for settings. Select this settings icon and then here you can see you can also exclude the apps that you don't want in your smart suggestion widget. The next tip is about desktop sites. For example, I open this website. Now I want to open the desktop version of this website. So I will select these tools from here. Then I will go to settings. And once you go inside settings, here you see this option of web page 
image view and scrolling. So select this option and here you see the last option is about show desktop sites. So you can enable it from here. Now you can go back. Here is the desktop version of the same website. The next step is about download font style. Open settings and scroll down and here you see this option of display. So select this option and then from here you can scroll down and here you see this option of font size and style. So select this option. Here is the font style. So select it and then here you can see this option of download fonts. So you can select this option and here it will give you different font style. So you can download any font style that you like. The next step is about S Pen to magnify. For example, I open this image and I want to magnify this small text. So I will open the air command and then from here I will open this magnify tool. Now I will bring my S Pen closer to this text. So here you can see it will magnify this text for me. So here you can see I can easily magnify this very small text. You can also change the size. So here you can see if you select, you can go for 250%, 200% or 150%. You can also use your S Pen for drawing. So open the air command and here is the pen up app. So I will open this pen up and here is the drawing option and then you can start drawing. So here we have different tools available so you can use these tools. So here you can see we have different pencil option available. Then we have a different colors option available. You can also select colors from here and then here you can change the size and then you can also change the opacity. Then at the bottom we also have different tools available. You can also select a different style of pen, pencil and different brushes from top as well. The next step is about hiding content from lock screen. For example, if you want to hide message notifications from lock screen, you have to go to settings and then here you see this option of notifications. Once you go inside notifications, here you see this option of lock screen notifications. So select this option and here you can see we have this option of hide content. So you can select this hide content from here. The next step is about notification style. So if you want to change the notification style, go to settings and then select notifications. And then here you see this option of notification pop up style. So you can select it from here and then here you see this option of edge lighting style. So you can select it here. You have different options available. So you can go for basic wave bubble uh, for glitter. Okay, or hard. So any style you like, you can select it from here. Once you finish, you can select done and then you have new notification pop up style. The next step is about dual messenger. Open settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of advanced features. So select this option and then scroll down and here you see this option of dual messenger. So you can select this option. So here you can see you can enable dual messenger from here. For example, you want another copy of WhatsApp. You can enable it from here and then you can install a second copy of WhatsApp. Same thing you can do for Facebook and you can also go for messenger. The next step is about hide this camera cutout. So open settings and then scroll down and here you see this option of display. Once you go inside display, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of camera cutout. So you can select camera cutout and then from here you can select any app. For example, I select this calculator app and here you can see it will open this small menu. Here we have this option of auto hide camera cutout or show camera cutout. I will select this hide camera cutout. Now, for example, I open this calculator app. So I will open it here. So here you can see it will hide this camera cutout. So you can select this camera cutout for a specific app. The next step is about screen timeout. So open settings and then scroll down and go for display. Once you go inside display, scroll down and here you see this option of screen timeout. So you can select it from here and then you can select any time from here. You can also enable this option of keep screen on while viewing. So it will keep the screen on while you are looking at it. The next step is about easy mode. So if you want simple home screen with bigger items, you can go for easy mode. So open the settings and then scroll down and select display. 
Then inside display, you have to scroll down and here you see this option of easy mode. Select this easy mode from here and then you can enable this easy mode from here. You can see the font size become bigger. If I go to home screen, so this is how my home screen will look like. So here you can see I have this bigger icon for apps and then if I open this app draw so here you can see the next tip is about call background so open the phone app and then select these three dots and here you see this option of settings once you go inside settings here you see this option of call background so you can select it from here then from here you select this background option and then you can select any background so here you can see we have this background if I go back we have another call background so you can select this background you can also enable or disable this option of use video sound as a ringtone so you can go back from here so whatever background you like you can just select it like this and then select as set as call background the next tip is about setting notes as widget on your home screen. For example, I open my notes. Now I want these notes as a widget on my home screen. I will select these three dots and here is the option of add to. So I will select this add to option and here is the option of home screen. So I will select this home screen and then I will select this add option. So now this note has been added to my home screen. Now if I go back, so here is the note. Now if you want, you can also change its size. So for example, I want to make it full size. So here is the full size widget of my notes. And now for example, if I want to open it, I can directly open it from here and then I can do my editing. The next tip is about hiding apps from home screen and app screen. So just pinch your home screen and then go to settings. Once you go inside settings, here you see this option of hide apps on home and app screen. So select this option and then you can select the app that you want to hide. Once you finish, you can select this done option and the app will be hidden from your home and app screen. The next tip is about removing media page from home screen. So if you want to remove this Google discover from your home screen, you can pinch your home screen like this, go to settings and then here you see this option of add media page to home screen. You can disable it from here. The next tip is about using S24 Ultra as a webcam for Galaxy tablets. So first of all open settings and then from here select this option of connected devices. And once you go inside connected devices here you see this option of camera sharing. So you can select this option and then you can enable this option from here. So now you can use this phone camera as a webcam for a nearby Galaxy tablet. So guys for camera sharing the Galaxy tablet should also have this feature available. So you have to wait for One UI 6.1 update for your Galaxy tablet as well. So guys this is for today's video. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.